Hello my soccer universe. Well, this was actually quite a promising start to the Nations League. We had at least one game that I watched was really, really, really good, although there was only one goal scored. And I think there were actually quite, quite a few goals yesterday as well. I am wearing Frost, who had a very impressive performance, dethroning Portugal as Nations League champions. And um, that we already, already know. And now this is again, I sort them and we'll look at it in a bit, the chances of winning it all. And suddenly Portugal finds themselves on the side wall where there's no chance of winning it anymore. Uh, but they will in the Nations League rankings, of course, be a whole lot higher because they had a very good, I probably think they will get fifth spot. Uh, so yeah, and I changed a few shorts around just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, I especially added the green Italy jersey for the simple reason I want to have a little bit more color. But Nations League, whoa! Let's start actually not in Port Portugal. I will first start in Germany. Uh, in Leipzig the game was played uh, between Germany and the Ukraine. And I, this was on my second screen. The main screen was of course Port Portugal, France. Um, and I have to say uh, Germany from what I could see was actually not playing that badly. The only thing is that Yaremchuk you gave, the, gave Ukraine a 12 minute uh, lead where I thought, ooh, is this not going again um, that Germany is gonna fall? But I think they collected themselves rather fast and it's Leroy Sané who gets the equalizer for Goretzka assist. Uh, Goretzka, but it was more in the in, in the effort, but Goretzka uh, has much more credit, I have to say. The assist was much stronger for his for the goal of Werner in the 33rd where he a really nice pass and Werner just had to put it into the net. Um, and I think Germany then really controlled the game. I mean, already the game in Ukraine was that um, Germany was the better team. Uh, Werner adds a uh, second one for himself, make it 3-1 at 64. The, uh, the Ukra uh, Ukrainians hit once the post, then lay it on, but I think it was a wholly deserved 3-1 win for Germany. And given that Spain only managed a 1-1 in Switzerland, we will see this will actually put Germany now in pole position in that group. But this game, yes, the first goal by Freude after um, Embola assist was really well taken, was a really nice goal, but the game was all about Sergio Ramos and his penalties. Uh, and you know, if you watch my, my videos, I mean, I don't manage off, but I'm not a big fan of Jan Sommer, but I have to give him loads of credit on what he was doing um, against Sergio Ramos. First up, uh, he, the first Panama penalty, I mean, he's just standing there and he's waiting. I mean, he, uh, Sergio Ramos has this cadence where he realizes that the goalkeeper reacts first, but the goalkeeper didn't. And so he shoots in a low left, left, left corner, doesn't do any, anything fancy. And it's not well placed, so it was actually not that hard to save because it was not a hard, uh, there was not a lot of force behind it. Uh, a little bit, and I have to say, I was actually, when I saw the foul for, for, for we, we, which is what I was given, I mean, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez is jump, jump, jumping up, has the back to, uh, towards. Um, and I don't know if it was Ramos. I think it was Ramos who had it, had had it on the on the back of his uh, arm. I have to say, a I was not necessarily the t-shirt line, and b um, he has no chance there. But okay. Uh, the second one, pen penalty uh, that Spain then got was a whole lot more. Ah, yeah, and Sergio says Ramos almost scored in right after because there was a corner kick from uh, the safe penalty that uh, where, where he connected and that was a much better effort on goal but again uh, Sommer saves. But then the second one, I mean uh, Elvedi really brings down um, was 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 Morata who uh, for some reason was not starting and it says, it says Ramos steps up and you could see A eh, he's now thinking what shall I do uh, he, it's a little bit his head and the goalkeeper really got cut and said he was clapping he was maybe maybe somewhere he was making all those weird rhythms going going down and not to really get uh, Ramos off his game and it succeeded because Ramos same corner same penalty but much weaker shot was very easily saved and Switzerland was about to get a famous victory but very low uh, Gerard Moreno after Region uh, cross makes it 1-1, one, one. so Spain escapes there. Let's go to Portugal. This was a winner gets the final four spot game and I have to say, despite Portugal 
showing promise frost controlled that game and had them very much under, under control this was i mean if frost plays like that i think poor portugal uh poor portugal is really one of the, the best teams tf20 if france plays like that uh they're gonna win the euros the question the question is do they because the french are always a box of surprises i think this was an extraordinary good performance by france it was a really good game uh the finishing was a little bit off but then again there were also great saves from the goalkeeper I mean, Martial could have had a hat trick um pro, uh, pro, pro, probably where Rui, Rui Patricio, uh saved well uh there was a wonderful free kick where i think um Griezmann played it out left and then the ball goes to uh Martial um we, who just hits the crossbar uh, yeah, it should have been probably 1-0 for France at the half. Uh, uh, Cristiano also having a few effort, efforts on goal. The only one that was really not showing was um, Bernardo Silva. And I also thought that Joao Felic was a little bit quiet in the, in the game, but it was all down to the organization that France put out. France really played well. And I have to, I have to say that uh, when Rabiot crosses in to give the goal to Kante, this was the... This was just perfect because those two working their asses off and those two combining for it for the goal and one offensive player uh, made a whole lot of sense. Uh, the only thing I have to say for France is that um, I think when they were up with the 1-0, they down now could sit back and defend, allow Port 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 Portugal to come, but uh, the counter attacks coming from it were not all that convincing i have to say this is the only uh, negative that i can say about uh um, frost there uh especially then late i mean i don't want to uh, uh put a dig on griezmann because i think he also played well but uh, there were two or three situations where he actually uh lost you know lost the ball on the count 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 like, but on, on on the other side what chances did poor Portugal have? I mean, there was a moment one long range effort from Chris Cristiano, which nah, uh, where, there was one, yeah, where he hit the, the head of the French de uh, defender. There was a shot by Moutinho that was really uh, nicely saved, but then France played it coolly home. I mean, it reminded me really of the World Cup and showing the quality in that French team is really the highest what we have at the moment doesn't mean that they will win the euros doesn't mean that they will win the nations league i just want to say uh if france continues playing as they're playing at the moment they will have no problem uh getting another trophy thoroughly convincing and it was this was probably the best national team game that i've seen this year uh, it was really, it, I enjoyed, fully enjoyed watching this one. Yes, you could see it was not all fight, but uh, not all clicking and so on. But it was really, really a good game. Uh, one that you could uh, thoroughly enjoy watching. So, yeah. And then in the, so, and with that win, France, actually, they won the head to head against poor Portugal, meaning they go on in, into the final four. Portugal will not defend its Nations League title. Uh, and then Sweden against Croatia. Sweden needed to win that, that one if they don't want to get re relegated. Um, and within the first half, Kulusevski and then Danielson uh, make it 2-0 at the half. However, very late on, uh, Perisic heads it on Dan Danielson's shoulder and it lobs into the goal to make it 2-1. Too bad for Sweden because now it's all level between Croatia and Sweden because Croatia won the first game 2-1 so Sweden does not own the head-to-head -head there which they would have had otherwise um, and that would have given them an advantage. Quickly League C we had Azerbaijan Montenegro. Uh, Montenegro playing a second half only with um, 10 men. Yeah, yellow red to Ivanovic but they hang on and while this might have been a, a bad result for them the fact that Luxembourg lost at Cyprus despite being 1-0 up within five minutes uh, crazy Kuzulo's uh, own goal uh, Cyprus turn, turns it around they get a pen, pen penalty which is converted via the inside side side post and then a very nice place again to Castanos who already scored got the first one gives them a 2-1 win which basically will as we'll see will uh, head the advantage to Montenegro Luxembourg uh, cannot hang on there then I I didn't have, have the time San Marino Gibraltar ends 0-0 uh, San Marino uh, early in the second half gets a red card 
but can hang on and get, get another point, which is uh, a lot you can say for San San Marino and Gibraltar cannot yet secure their spot. We'll look at the table in a bit. And then also the other League D group is wide open. I mean, Andorra had a lead uh, through Robes in the third, third minute, but then Malta turns it around uh, in, the in the second half, I think 56, 59th, and then in the starting stoppage, I make it a 3-1 win for Malta, keeping them in contention. Because the Faroe Islands also cannot manage a win, but um, to, to be honest, Latvia was probably the slightly better team. Uh, Kames gives them the lead, but right right off from the kickoff, uh, this was the 59th and 60th, uh, Wattenhammer, Guess the equal as a lot where then has a few chances uh, to, to win it, but Fair Islands hang on. And a lot of is the only team that the Fair Islands have not beaten in this cam campaign, and they have now an away game to Malta, as we will see. So, let's with all that, let's look at the standings here. League A, we have, and all the changes we will see is always the top two switching, and we already see France is now through Croatia. Holding a slimmest of advantage, this will come down to uh, goal difference uh, or goal scored. And there, Croatia has an advantage, uh, but it all depends on the last few games. But you know, France and Portugal, they have the places now, now they the probably will feel second string squads to give the players a rest. That's at least what I would expect. Uh, Germany leapfrogs now Spain. Um, but they play against each other in Spain in the next round. Ukraine and Switzerland, uh, Ukraine has the advantage there, but Switzerland would have to just just beat Ukraine 1-0. They have an away goal. Uh, so the first game went 2-1-2 two, 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 one, two, Ukraine to kind of stay in there. So uh, that is also an interesting matchup. Then uh, League C, we have now Montenegro ahead of Luxembourg uh, in control of that, that, that group. I think they have to play Cyprus, which should be an easy, easy win given where Cyprus are. Um, and then League D, there we have everything, Faroe Islands. Yes, they have to avoid defeat in, at Malta. Then uh, they're for sure through. Otherwise it could come down to head, head, head to head and Liechtenstein with a win over Gibraltar can actually uh, get promoted, but they need to win in Gibraltar. And as you, you can see, that's also not a given. Now, chances of winning it all. Now, France suddenly is in number one because they have already qualified, which Belgium has not. So that lifts it up. Germany is now ahead of Spain because they are in a slightly better position. Italy and Poland remain the same. Um, Portugal is currently crashing out because they are not in there uh, as well. We have to see about the other teams. And I'll give you the matchups for exactly these groups that we have been ta ta talking about for, for the next uh, week. This is all played on Tuesday. Spain, Germany, head and shoulders above the rest. Uh, Switzerland, Ukraine, I think is probably the second most in in interesting one because it's a relegation battle. And then I think Croatia, Portugal and France and Sweden as I said, they will feel probably second string squad, so I don't expect much. Luxembourg, Azerbaijan, Montenegro, Cyprus, I think it will go Mont Montenegro's win. And then I told you about Gibraltar, Liechtenstein, and Malta, Faroe Islands. Well, I enjoyed yesterday's Nations League. We have a lot of good stuff coming today as well. So watch my preview um, of match day five. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you see more. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel because it will keep you updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.